So the beginning of the Trunks arc is finally taking place, and I believe we're about two episodes in, and from what it looks like, everyone seems to be on the edge of their seats and definitely loving this arc. But uh, what this video is about, I really just wanted to name a few things that I hope will come in this arc or take place in some form or fashion. And yeah, that's pretty much all this video is to talk about. Just a few things that I actually hope will indeed happen in this current arc of Dragon Ball Super. Now I'm going to start first by saying one thing that I don't want and that's for this arc to be another arc for Goku to capture the spotlight because I mean if you look at Dragon Ball Super, Goku's defeated, well seemingly defeated Beerus in the first arc, the second arc he was the one to defeat Frieza, the third arc he basically stole the spotlight at the tournament when he added Kaioken to his Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan and then even in the filler arc, he defeated the copy version of Vegeta. So Goku has gotten plenty of spotlight in Dragon Ball Super. So one thing I definitely don't want this arc to be is another arc for Goku to just capture the spotlight again. While I do know that Goku is the main character of the series and it's probably going to happen because that's usually the way Akira Toriyama writes it, it's just something that I feel like will end up being repetitive in Dragon Ball Super if Goku is constantly being the one to defeat the enemy because it's been that way the entire series so far and I mean I'm not complaining about it it's all been good it's been well written but it's just something that I don't want to see again I want someone else to get the spotlight in this arc the second thing is something pretty simple and I'm guessing it's probably what a lot of people want to know so I decided to put it in the video anyway. I want to know why Trunks' hair is blue. I mean I don't care as much as other people do but um, I feel like there's definitely a reason for it and that's one of the things about this arc that I can't wait to find out. I hope it gives a detailed explanation unlike how they did Vegeta going Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. So yeah that's another thing I want to find out about this arc. Or at least that the story will tell. The third is definitely one that I know a lot of people are going to want to see. And it's definitely a detailed story between the current past version of Gohan and the future version of Trunks. Because I know a lot of people are seeing that Gohan is still weak. He hasn't been training. And um, they're saying the same thing about Trunks. But one thing I feel about Trunks is that he really can't get any stronger. Because... For one, there's no one to train with him in the future because everyone died and he can't obtain Super Saiyan 3 simply because even Goku couldn't obtain that in the regular world. He said that he only obtained it in the other world because his body couldn't be damaged and there were no limits being put on him. As for Super Saiyan God, there's no way he could reach that because he doesn't have anyone like Beerus or Whis to help train him to reach that form so I know a lot of people are upset about him not being strong but I feel like in this arc hopefully Goku and Vegeta will definitely help Trunks reach his full potential. As for Gohan I feel like maybe he has been training I don't think he just started training with Piccolo and stopped so I do feel like he's a little bit stronger now than he was at the beginning of Dragon Ball Super but um Hopefully that when Trunks comes back and they get to see each other because we already know there's going to be an episode where they do meet up Hopefully he's a little bit stronger and I'm hoping we actually get to see them train together It's not something I'm definitely expecting since Dragon Ball Super Seems to be going by much faster than Dragon Ball Z used to but um yeah, either way, I do hope that we get some kind of, at least maybe two or three episodes dedicated to just Gohan and Trunks' bond. And hopefully it goes into a little bit of detail, because I know they've been rushing things lately, but yeah, that's one thing I'm definitely hoping for. The fourth thing that I'm hoping for from this arc is that we get a little bit more insight from Lord Beerus and I doubt we'll get to see him fight although I'm really hoping for it because I love to see where his power stands in conflict with Black Goku. I'm pretty sure he'd probably be able to beat him because this is Beerus and Akira Toriyama hasn't made anyone more powerful than him yet. But uh, if anything, if he doesn't get to fight, I do hope that he is the one to tell the backstory of Black Goku and who or what he might be. Because I 
feel like him and Weiss would definitely be the one who has the intelligence on that. They'd be the ones to know way before Goku, Vegeta, or even Trunks himself. So I'm hoping for a whole lot from him and Weiss from this arc as well. And I'm pretty sure we're probably going to get it. Now this is something that was the talk for a while a couple of weeks ago about Super Saiyan White. And Akira Toriyama did state that the next enemy in Dragon Ball Super was going to have white hair. And we got Black Goku right now. But I'm thinking there's a whole lot more to Black Goku than what we're seeing. As I said, I do think that it's an entity possibly that's controlling Black Goku. Or maybe even this guy, Zamatsu. I think that's his name. I'm not really sure. But... A lot of people are saying that this guy might be the enemy of the next arc. I don't know. He doesn't look like he's evil. But, I mean, we've only seen him in the preview, so we don't really know. Either way, I do hope we get a whole lot of insight on this enemy with white hair if Akira Toriyama didn't forget about the fact that he even said that. I'm actually really ready to get a whole lot of insight on this guy because, I mean, he's been showing in the previews for the past two or three episodes of this arc and Akira Toriyama did say for a fact that the next enemy was gonna have white hair now as I said he does tend to forget some of the things that he says but this is the first guy we've seen with white hair appear so I'm guessing he's definitely gonna have something to do with maybe what's going on with Black Goku or maybe he's even a good guy maybe he's a Kai maybe he's a god from Trunks's universe or something like that or maybe even another universe I'm not really sure because we're getting so many new characters that are being introduced to Dragon Ball Super you never really know where it's gonna go so he's definitely another character who I can't wait to see his storyline his backstory and definitely his origin last but not least is in this arc, I want Vegeta to finally get his shine. And why I say that is because it's so well set up for it to happen. First of all, Black Goku killed Vegeta's wife in the future. He's tormented his son to the point to where he had to come back to the past to ask for help. And all throughout Dragon Ball Super, Vegeta has constantly been frustrated about how he can't catch up to Goku. Or stay at least within the same range of power when it comes to their abilities and i definitely think that if no other arc had the potential for that to happen this would definitely be the one now while i am a big vegeta fan i'm not saying this because i'm being biased because i'm also a very big goku fan but as i said goku has gotten much of the spotlight this entire series and other than vegeta defeating frost mangeta and kava he really hasn't gotten that much shine and i mean yeah you can say that he got a little bit of shine when he fought frieza but even then he couldn't take that victory and i feel like vegeta definitely owes frieza the win definitely more than goku and so that's why i'm hoping that this arc definitely gives Vegeta what he deserves because I feel like if he somehow defeats this form of Goku it'll definitely you know at least help him towards reaching that goal of feeling like he can par with Goku because we already know that Akira Toriyama is not gonna let Vegeta pass Goku it's just not something that's gonna happen so at least if he can get this it would definitely go down as a great arc and it's not something that I actually see happening. This is more so something that I'm really just hoping for. I really do want to see Vegeta be the one to take down Black Goku. I feel like it'll make an awesome end to this chapter. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble on about it. And uh, as I said, this video is just a few things that I actually want to see happen in the Trunks arc of Dragon Ball Super. And I hope that you guys can definitely agree and at least see where I'm coming from with some of the points that I made. So anyway, uh, without further ado, I'm Animated Heroes. I hope you guys like the video. If you do, don't forget to like, subscribe. Even if you don't like it, like the video anyway. And uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm Animated Heroes and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.